Well, a very warm welcome to the August 2024 edition of our Market Wrap. Before I get into what happened throughout the month of August, there is some very exciting news coming out of our Bentley office. We are expanding, we are opening up a Glenara office, which will actually be located in Carnegie. We will be servicing Carnegie, Hughesdale, Murrumbina, all the way through to the beach, as well as the suburbs that we obviously already operate in. So very exciting. That team will be headed up by Chris Hassel and Sam Maley, and uh, we're pumped to be able to expand into that part of the world, in a part of the world where we already do a lot of business anyway. Now, let's get into what happened throughout the month of August. Over August's first three weekends, the Real Estate Institute of Victoria recorded more than 1,832 auctions. 1,357 of those properties sold, with 973 of those properties sold at auction. Now, 350 of those properties passed in, 378 properties were sold before the auction, with six properties selling after auction. The clearance rate averaged 79.67%, which was actually slightly up on July's clearance rate of 78.75% and 855 of those properties were sold privately. Now looking at a little more micro, we have certainly seen an uptick in confidence from buyers post winter. The RBA actually had uh, a few announcements in the media. The CBA had a few announcements in the media only a few weeks ago saying that there may potentially be 0.25% basis points wiped off before the end of the year. That weekend, we saw a massive uptick in confidence and we actually sold 94% of our properties at auction that weekend. Coming in at number one was an incredible auction. It was number eight, Miles Street in Bentley, a big, beautiful four bedroom, three bathroom family home on 705 square meters. And that was an incredible auction. There was about 300 people in the crowd. There were seven or eight bidders. Uh, it was an hour and a half of bidding and that property sold under the hammer for 3 million and 68,000. Next was an equally impressive sale, the highest townhouse price ever achieved in 3204 for a townhouse. Number 35B Mortimer Street in Bentley, sold by private sale for 2,525,000. A big congratulations to Ruby Jackson Group. They are one of our best clients and people that we do a lot of business with and uh, congratulations to them for achieving another record result. Next was number four, Chalmers Street in McKinnon, a home that I listed and auctioned for a very good client of mine, George. That was a three bedroom, two bathroom home sitting on 660 square meters of land in, of course, the McKinnon Secondary School Zone. And that property sold with two bidders for 2 million and 50. Next was another property that I sold, number 9B Marriott Road in Bentley, a beautiful architectural design, four bed, three and a half bath townhouse. The clincher with this property was that it actually had a triple lockup garage and that property sold for 1.85 million. Next was number 24B Osborne Avenue in McKinnon, a four bed, three bath townhouse. Unique this one, it was on about 289 square meters of land and that property sold for 1.85 and spring has officially sprung. The cherry blossoms on Wheatley Road are out. Buyers are back out in force and we are listing up a frenzy for the spring period. There is only about a six week uh, time frame now between the end of the year when you can actually list for 2024. What I mean by that is we need enough lead up time. If you're wanting to sell this side of Christmas, there's only about six more listing weeks for the year that you can actually get your property on the market for 2024. So please do get in touch if you're wanting to have a sale done and dusted this side of Christmas. If you're looking to project into 2025, I certainly see things easing up from a rate rise perspective. I think that we might even get a couple of rate cuts towards the first half of 2025. And that typically does one thing to property prices and that is go up. There's certainly some good value down here in Melbourne. We are certainly the best value throughout Australia right now. In fact, it's the last time that our median house price was less than Perth's was back before the GFC when the mining boom was happening over in Perth. So certainly some unbelievable value here in Melbourne and certainly some good listings coming on throughout the spring months. I look forward to seeing you in our September market wrap.